Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you, Governor. Good luck. Sure. Ah, good evening, Mr. Hoover. Good evening. Good, good evening, evening, everybody. Yeah. I'm in the chair. What's yours? Well, I'll have a ginger brandy. <laughs> ginger brandy. And how's the professor of Psy, uh, Psy, uh... The word that escapes you, Mr. Peebles, is psychology. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yes. It shouldn't have escaped me, should it? We've heard it pretty often in here, haven't we, and all? Not often enough, it seems. <laughs> no. Now, Mr. Peebles, you know it's a rare treat the way Mr. Hoover talks. Yes, indeed. It's seldom enough we meet an educated gentleman like Mr. Hoover. To you, Mr. Peebles. And to you, ladies. Though I don't deserve your flattery. Any news today, Mr. Hoover? News? On what subject? Well, you've only been talking on one subject lately, haven't you? Come now, Mr. Smith. Surely you don't hold it against me that I've become engrossed in the most interesting problem of abnormal criminal psychology. <laughs> Listen to the words come out. <laughs> I'm hanged if I can see anything so interesting in it. Happens every day of the year. I tell Mr. Smith. Uh, Miss James, I see empty glasses about. Ask the ladies and gentlemen what they'll have. Oh, oh, thank, thank you very much, Mr. Hoover. Yes, same again. Hey. Beer. Uh, dear Mr. Smith, I'm afraid you only take a superficial view. Do I? Yes. You see, to a student in these matters, the impulse that dictates the action and the sense of power that comes from the evasion of the consequences makes each instance unique, even though you may say, plus ça change, plus c'est la même chose. Mercy. Good luck, Mr. Hoover. All the best. Well, um, San Ferian, Mr. Hoover, and may your days be as long as your words. Would you mind repeating that in English? Certainly. The man who killed that girl enjoyed for a moment the sensation of power over life and death. Now he has the sense of power that comes from knowing something that nobody else in the world knows. You do give things a queer twist. Meaning you still think Matthews didn't do it. I'm more convinced than ever this evening. Found something out, Mr. Hoover. Do tell us. You don't mean to say that you got information. Of course not. I have no means of getting information. The police have that. I merely think and observe. Oh, nonsense. Do you mean to stand there and say Mr. that... Mr. Smith, no arguments here, if you please. Miss James, never discourage a skeptic. Doubt is the stimulator of conversation. It may amuse you all to know that I have come to a not uninteresting conclusion. Now yes. he had something up his sleeve. But are you going to tell us? We can hardly wait. <laughs> the unfortunate Matthews is in London. Really? Well, well, have they caught him? No, they haven't caught him. The police don't even know that he is in London. Then how do you know? By the elementary deduction that a criminal always returns to the scene of his crime. Is that all you've got to go by? That and a look of fear in a pair of lovely eyes. An expression of anxiety on a pretty face. And the hair in Uncle Tom Cobbley's whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Peebles, I envy you the possession of such a sense of humor. I would like to be able to stay longer to enjoy more fully the rapier play of your wit. But alas, I have an appointment. <laughs> Good night. Au revoir, ladies. Good night. Good night. Good night. And give our love to them beautiful eyes. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Crackers. Crackers? The best free show in London. That's what he is. <laughs>